Hello everyone, this is Jeff Patel, Flitter Mouse. Today we are going to supersize the BB gun concept. What will happen if we put a very large bearing ball in a 12 gauge shotgun and shoot it? This 68 caliber ball is 60 times the weight of an ordinary BB. These are 30% lighter than the lead shot that I removed out of the shells. We were also very careful about checking the clearances all the way through the barrel of the shotgun to ensure there is no chance of obstruction. Shooting oddball projectiles out of a shotgun can be very risky if you don't know what you're doing. So don't find out you don't know what you're doing by having a shotgun blow up in your face. We weren't sure how accurate these rounds would be. A good round will have consistent accuracy and will be able to hit a reasonably sized target time and time again. Okay. Ready? Yep. Nice. Nice. I had Darren the shooter uh, practice a few shots with the wax slugs prior to shooting the ball bearings and he did pretty well. It's a little hard to gauge the elevation on a shotgun sometimes. On this shot I wanted him to hit the helmet and he just barely glanced it yet it still penetrated the helmet very easily. I wanted to experiment with some different camera angles. This isn't the safest place for a camera to be positioned. The biggest problem with this camera shot is the light is coming from the wrong direction, but it's still a neat camera angle. Okay, let's shoot at that stack of books now. Whenever you're ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, he didn't hit the duck, but at least he hit the book, and I seriously doubt I could have done any better, to be honest. When you're shooting a shotgun that doesn't have any rear sights, um, it's very common for people to shoot high with it. I, it. I do it all the time, too. So I was just pleased he hit the book, and it did that much damage to it. It ripped it up pretty good. The more we're shooting these things, the more impressed we are with them. The amount of penetration and power and accuracy is, is pretty impressive. So now we're going to shoot a big five gallon jug of I'm water. Ready. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, unlike a lead projectile like a deer slug or a lead bullet, these have a completely different characteristic. They do not mushroom out. And when they hit something, they just want to just go right through it. And that ball just went right through that eight inches of water like it was nothing. Next, we're going to shoot a stainless steel plate. It's a quarter inch thick, which is about 6.5 millimeters. Now, we were real careful about this. We set the plate at an angle to deflect the ball because just like a BB, there's a good chance it could fly back at us. Okay. Woo! That was a nasty shot. <laughs> it turned out we didn't really have to worry about ricochet very much. The soft stainless steel absorbed a lot of the energy and the ball just ended up falling right in front of the target. Now for a shotgun round that did a pretty, pretty good amount of damage. It actually ripped the metal a little more power and it could have pierced it. Now Darren definitely has the good shotgun sighted in now, so we're going to give him a really good target here. This is the 5 pound gummy bear. It's actually tougher than a real bear. If you don't believe me, check out my playlist where we shoot it with all kinds of things. These things are incredibly tough. Now look at the distance here. He's way back there and he's trying to hit that little head. I think you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say that I was very, very surprised with these ball bearing rounds. I really didn't think they would be accurate. I thought when it hit the metal plate they would bounce off or shatter. And I thought for sure the gummy bear would stop it. But it just 
tunneled through that thing like nothing. At 60 times the weight of a BB and traveling over 1,200 feet per second, this thing was hundreds of times more powerful than the BB guns that many of us shot when we were kids. And looking back, we sure thought those BB guns were powerful. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.